If this happens, Samsung is gonna unlock a new era of smartphone camera that actually has the ability to kill a DSLR. The upcoming Galaxy S26 series puts a big question mark on Samsung's future as a lot of people are expecting a big, huge change with next generation. And well, it seems like Samsung is open to all kinds of possibilities. Out comes the latest Samsung patent showing off something that we have never seen from Samsung before. A Samsung smartphone smartphone with the replaceable lens. Yes, as described in this pattern, it seems like Samsung is working on a device that has the replaceable lens feature, meaning you can attach different lens to it. What's unique about this is that the entire lens assembly is fully built in, unlike some of the third-party solutions we have seen from other brands. There's like three different ways from which the phone can read a lens, for example, through a magnet, tag, or reflector. Once attached, you'll be able to change things like aperture, have an even longer zoom range, range etc it definitely seems pretty interesting considering we have seen a lot of this lately we've seen different brands showing off this concept at the mwc and we even saw vivo releasing a lens for their x200 ultra phone which is exclusive to china and now it seems like samsung is also taking full interest in potentially having a replaceable lens for their future flagship phone considering samsung is literally making 200 megapixel telephoto lenses for some of these major android flagship phones Phones, they're definitely in a unique position to bring something really good to the table. Since most people buy Samsung's ultra flagship phone for the best camera experience, and if Samsung can make that camera experience even crazier by offering an external lens, then I think most of these people wouldn't mind paying more. Again, nothing is confirmed. This is just what Samsung is working behind the scenes. Let me know if you think this could be the future of smartphone camera in the comment section below. Also, we have a massive news regarding Samsung's behind the scene work on their Exynos 2600 comeback. According to a Korean source, it seems like Samsung suffered a major loss of up to $400 million for not being able to use the Exynos 2500 this year in the S25 series. Which is why for next year, Samsung is trying their absolute best to at least equip some markets with the Exynos 2600 for the S26 lineup. And well, it seems like in Europe, Samsung could equip the Galaxy S26 and the S26 Plus with the Exynos 2600 chip, while likely keeping the Galaxy S26 Ultra exclusive with the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chip. This is because sources are already expecting the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 to have a clear performance advantage over the Exynos 2600, so very likely Samsung is going to be keeping their Ultra model Snapdragon exclusive. Now, last but not the least, we have the smartphone market performance report of Q1 2025, and it seems like Samsung is once again reigning supreme over Apple. Apple is right behind Samsung at about 19%. So the gap between Samsung and Apple is very close, and uh, it seems like there could be a reversal happening, especially with a new iPhone 17 lineup plan for the September of this year. Of course, Samsung also has a chance to extend their lead thanks to their upcoming unpacked event where we're going to see the much needed change with their foldable smartphones. But for the distant future, and by that I mean 2026, it seems like Galaxy S26 series, especially the S26 Ultra, could have something extremely exciting. Samsung is working on a lot of things. I'll keep you guys updated with all the latest news, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.